Something's Brewing, sponsored by Sacred Heart University. Learn the science of beer in Connecticut's first brewing certificate program. Something's Brewing takes us to Portland. Concentric Brewing Company just opened their doors three weeks ago, and you can see they're right near the Aragone Bridge on the Connecticut River. They already have a variety of beers on tap, which have become pretty popular. Well, what a great addition to Portland. I want to introduce one of the owners, taproom manager, Dave Piker. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as wow, well. Wow, this is beautiful. Oh, thank that you. That bar is amazing. Yeah, we like it a lot, too. Yeah. Thank you. Well, congratulations. Thanks. So what um, made you pick Portland? Uh, well, we stumbled a little bit. We, we looked at a few other towns, mm -hmm. and uh, we, we got our way over to here, walked into this building. The space was wide open. We were like, wow, we, we got a blank palette. So it was really tough for us to envision how to warm it up. But we, we did with some you know, barn wood from Thrall's Malt Farm in Windsor and uh, um, you know, some paint. And we, we, we transformed it into uh, something we feel warm. It's warm and comfortable. Well, it looks great. What um, made you open up a brewery? Obviously, you like beer, right? <laughs> well, well we, um, we're, we all ba have a background in home brewing. So okay. that led us to um, wanting to share it a lot. And then people enjoyed it. And we said, well, maybe there's a thing here. So we, we decided to uh, pursue it further. Now over some beers and a, a legal pad, and we, we started talking about a business plan and put one together, and um, you know, that's all history, and here we are. And I bet you uh, didn't think you were going to open up during a pandemic, right? Never hit the radar screen at all. <laughs> <laughs> For us, it's, you know, it's just kind of, this is, our, this is business as usual, because we know no other way of, of, of running it, so. Well, now let's talk about the beer. Brian Aida, he is the head brewer and one of the owners here. Nice to see you. Yep, nice to see you too. Yeah, thanks. so right off the tap room is kind of where the magic happens. Yeah. This is where you do all your brewing. Yep. Well, the first beer we're going to talk about is your Pilsner. Yeah, so the Portland Pilsner, it's about 5.1% alcohol. It's kind of a just a simple, clean, crisp, and refreshing beer. Um, if you want to sit down and have more than one, that's kind of a, a good one to do it with. So uh, maybe good really for nice. the summer too when you're like mowing the lawn. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> uh, the next one is a double IPA. Yeah, double IPA is our moving target. So this one we're going to kind of experiment with on different hop varieties that we are interested in or what we think might really taste and smell awesome in an IPA. Um, it's definitely a, a big hitter. It's 8.6%. Okay. Um, a lot of like uh, citrusy mango notes in this one, um, but we'll see what the next one comes out yeah. as. The third one we want to talk about is your chocolate milk stout. Oh, Good yeah. for this time of year. <laughs> yes, we love that beer. We're happy with how that came out. It's, uh, it's called Utterly Whimsical. Um, it is a chocolate milk stout, so we put a lot of cacao nibs that we toasted into the fermenter and a bunch of lactose. Um, this one is a really rich chocolatey beer. Uh, probably not one that you're going to uh, drink too fast, but um, it's delicious. And then you also have another IPA you want to talk about. We do. So uh, the core is uh, our flagship IPA. It's got a lot of bright tropical uh, notes in it, uh, a lot of good aromas and flavors, um, and it's one of those hazy ones. So. Well, we want to introduce Drew France. He is one of the owners here, assistant brewer as well. Let's talk about the food. All this right. looks amazing. Yeah, so we're fortunate enough to have our own restaurant on site that's uh, owned and chefed by uh, these fine people here. Mm -hmm. We've got gourmet hot dogs, uh, wings, pretzel bites, all kinds of great fare to make, uh, make beer drinking easy. All right, and then you're excited for summer, like so many of us. Yes, yes. What do you we're, have going we're on looking for forward to summertime. Actually, this spring will be opening up our outdoor space uh, as soon as the weather breaks. We've got a thousand square foot patio. Mm -hmm. um, we've got lots of lawn space for uh, playing cornhole and all kinds of family fun. So we're looking forward to it. All right. Well, thanks so much. I'm so excited that we were able to touch base. Congratulations again. Thank you so much. And cheers to many more years. Cheers. All right, cheers. cheers. cheers.